Summer Swaps 3 is out and we need to win four games with a Mexican team on squad battles on professional difficulty or higher to earn yourself a token plus a one of free 84 plus player pick. The same with Spanish players and if you didn't know, you can make an 11 players. So for example, let's use Mexico. Your starting 11 will be 11 Mexican players and then on your bench, you can substitute whoever you want on. So if, for example, let's say you had the brand new Mendy or Neymar or you've got one of the special cards, put him on the bench swap him up front and you can then use him during the game as long as you substitute him from the first couple seconds of the game first minute as long as you have 11 mexican or spanish players at the start and it's the same for these ones as well argentina or brazilian you can just do that every single time so you don't have to just use the 11 players on the pitch you can substitute whoever you want then we have italian and england and you need to win four matches in a live foot friendly mode one nation i'm going to explain the best teams and tactics and how to win the game in this as well and what you get from that is a 103 84 plus player pick on both of them you need first owners eight if you know what first owner is it's someone that's packed or from an sbc so let's go to england for for example and have a look at one nation here and with one nation you can only have one max nation shock first owners eight and one loan so let's go and make a team quickly so we're just going to use this French team as an example because you can still do that with the One Nation. So you want to go to Custom Tactics and then you're going to want to press LT or L2 on your controller. Select any one of these, doesn't matter which one it is, but I'm going to use Defensive for example. And then these are the tactics you want to set up. So you want to have Defensive Style Balance, Whip 72, Depth 32, Build Up Play Balance, Chance Creation, Direct Passing, Whip 72, Players in the Box 7, Corners 1, Free Kicks 1, Formation is 4 one, 2, one, two Brackets 2, and then your instructions, or if you want to change some players around, you have to press Y on triangle on the formation and you can select. You're going to want to have your most defensive midfielder in the CDM role and then your second most defensive player there. As you can see, I've got quite a lot of attackers, but it doesn't really matter. And then in terms of instructions, your left striker is going to be default. Get in behind, default, default. Right striker is going to be default, default, default. Come back on defense. Your cam is just going to be all default. Your left centre mid, who's going to be your second most defensive, is going to be stay back while attacking. Everything else on default. Your right centre mid is going to be the most attacking one or second most behind your cam. Get forward, everything else on default. So nice and straightforward. Your CDM is going to be balanced, stay back while attacking, balanced, cover centre, make sure this is cover centre, not cover wing and stick to position and then your left back is going to be stay back while attacking overlap and your right back is going to be exactly the same that is because when you do not have the ball your two strikers will drop back into their half your cam will move to left mid your right center mid will move to right mid and your two midfielders will move into the middle to make a 4-4-2 flat your two midfielders here will protect your two defenders and when you don't have the ball your cdm will sometimes drop in between your two center backs to give you a five back essentially and then when you are defending a corner, so your opponent has a corner and you defend it well, your left back and right back can decide to push forward with these four players as they will always go forward as soon as you got the ball. And then as soon as they pass it, say you run forward with them, as soon as you pass the ball to one of your teammates, they will turn around and run back. So you will always have five players back five players forward depending on who you use the ball with that being said i'm going to show you some gameplay and how the formation works but let's have a word from our sponsor first is your team behind the power curve do you need some fifa coins make sure you go to alt nice select foot select which console you want the coins on how many coins select which payment method don't forget to type in code nanic for that cheeky six percent off your orders the link will be in the description down below so we do have a game one thing I notice a lot of people do in this game mode is that he's using a French team as well, so fantastic, is they like to rush out of position, panic so much because they know first two, that means whoever scores first wins the game. So as you can see, I've immediately set the tactic to defensive, which is where my 4 one 2 one 2 is. And you can see right now, the team's already dropped into a 4 4 2 flat. He's playing it nice and slow, which means we can really explain how the defense works. So what I'm doing here is just not rushing anybody out. Just kind of understand how our opponent is playing. Not a problem at all. Double press here. Wait for him to make a mistake. Seems like to be a very good player here. So we win the ball there. Perfect. Give it away, unfortunately, with a bad header. He's gone for a long-range shot. Never going in. So now we've got the ball. You just want to play it nice and slow. A lot of people instantly go into sprint, try to run. As you can see, our team's already changed into a 4-1-2 narrow. 4 one 2 one 2 narrow, sorry. And then, as you can see now, we're just looking for the option. We're not going to rush anything. We're going to make our opponent make the mistake if we've got too many, a bit more space there. That is an awful pass, so unfortunately... Not a problem, because now what's going to happen is our opponent's going to rush the ball. Yes, they give it away instantly. And now we can hit one of the counter -takes. See, both our strikers have run forward. 
a bit unlucky there not to get the ball through. But now we have got a corner, which is perfect because when you have your corner set on one, you can see there's only a couple players in. Always hold down RB and R1 so you have this player near and you're going to want to send the pass straight up to the top every single time. And just going to take a long range shot. And we've managed to get the goal. That is an actual glitch in the game that goes in every time. But as you can see, I was just very calm and collective at all time, passing the ball around slowly. Don't rush any of my centre backs. I barely touched my back four, my left back, two centre backs, all right back. Just played it nice and slow. And then we managed to get a chance. A bit of a lucky goal in the end, but sometimes you just got to take it. But you can see in terms of attacking, they all ran forward. They all moved in position. As soon as we didn't have the ball, immediately they turn around and run back. If you have any questions, as always, comment down below. If you are new to the channel, consider hitting that like button and subscribing. And I will catch you in the next one. See ya.